Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel, Claire Thackeray. Today is the Thursday, the 19th of January, 2023. Before I go any further, um, any, not, I was going to say American friends, but actually any friends, wherever you are in the world, we kind of need to Google today's date because what I'm hearing is today's date is actually a significant date in Abraham Lincoln's life. This has been a weird channeling up to now. Usually when I get the nudge to channel someone, I do a little bit of not research to cheat, but usually I know who they are. I know who Abraham Lincoln is, but I mean, they're really familiar to me. So usually they're from my own country. They're from, there's someone that we really know. And Abraham Lincoln, I didn't know anything about him other than he was a president. I didn't even know that he was the 16th president of the United States of America. And I didn't know what party he supported. I didn't know, I knew he was assassinated. That was it. And when he came through a few weeks ago, it was two or three weeks ago, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna do this because it's just not somebody that I know. I, I just, it's, it's a strange thing. And he stayed around and he stayed around. And last Sunday, was it, we watched, I said, let me watch Lincoln because I actually know nothing about this man. And I just feel it's rude. I know people have said when you channel, you shouldn't know anything about someone, but there's also an element of respect needed when channeling someone to going totally blind can, I don't know. I think sometimes you need to at least know the bare basics, at least the date of births, at least how they passed or it's different for each soul, but I just, I, for how I work, it just feels like more of a respect thing. I have an issue with American politics. So I'm, I'm UK based by the way, so I'm not American. In as far as whenever I talk about American politics, I go blank. My mind goes blank. It's really bad actually. And I, I was saying to him, look, I've got this issue that at the time I didn't know what it was, but he showed me what it was. I said, I, I can't do it because I've got an issue with American politics. This isn't to do with Americans or the US. This is a past life thing that he's shown me since. That when I talk about American politics, my mind goes blank. It's really bad. I used to do readings on when Trump was in power and I kind of have blank moments. And it was just weird. It's the same with Biden. Um, if I'm channeling um, JFK, he has to keep it simple because I go really blank. I shut down at American politics. Um, but at the same time, I've got a real urge to visit the White House in Washington. Work it out for yourselves. <laughs> so I was like, you could, you could actually really find somebody better at doing this. I'm watching Lincoln and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, can't follow any of this. Can't follow it, can't follow it. And he comes in and he's like, calm. He says, the messages that I've got for this video, videos, have nothing to do with politics, what party I supported, American politics, how the politics, he says, you don't need to know any of that. You don't need to understand it. I'm going to be giving messages of hope and peace for the Americans. It's not going to be a political reading. So please calm down and you'll be fine. Trust me. So I did, and I really enjoyed Lincoln then. It was weird. It was weird. It was like I caused the block myself. It was weird. So I did sit down, and I obviously got to know about certain dates in his life, and then I started to go, oh, my God, something is going on here. Abraham Lincoln. I am a Yorkshire lass, born in Leeds, West Yorkshire. Mo lived in Yorkshire all my life until last year when we moved to Lincoln in Lincolnshire. When we were watching the film, there were certain dates that played a significant role in his life, mainly the 8th and the 9th, maybe number 8 and number 9. It's the same with me. The eight and number 8, 8 and 9 has played such a significant role in this life and in past lives, it's untrue. I then looked into, obviously found that he was, I knew, was, I knew he'd been assassinated and then went, oh, when I found out the name of the person that assassinated him, and it is John Wilkes Booth, B double O T H, right? That's my maiden name, Claire Booth. That's who I used to be before I married Gary and became a Thackeray. And I sat there and I went, oh, so there is connection. Because I was thinking there isn't even a connection here. There's no anything. And it blew me away. So that night I was laid in bed and I said, will you show me Abraham Lincoln? Why I've got such an issue with American politics to a point it causes me to have a mental block, literally. And it could get so bad that even like talking about 
like the families that are in power at the time. We've I did this a few was it was it the global predictions where we started talking about Trump and a baby and I was like, oh I don't even know what you're talking about with these family members. Honestly, it's really bad. It can be it can be really bad. I know the <laughs> I know the name of the president, but when and, and, and the names of the wife start taking it just it, it shuts down, my brain shuts down. And he actually showed me a past life at the time of his you see, I want to say reign, but I know it's not reign. This is how this is how bad it is. At the time of his time in office, he's saying thank you for that. You see, time in office. <laughs> time in office. And I was uh, a politician. I was, you see, it probably isn't even the, the word that Americans use. Um, and I was in his office. And I was really affected by the toxic politics of the time in his office. And he said, it's really affected you with politics. He says, you literally shut, shut down. He said, and it's not just with American politics, Claire. He said, it's with UK politics. It's with people say to me, can you read on Australia? Can you read on, honestly, like Jacinda Ardern's retired, retired, stepped down this morning. I was like, oh my God, can't read on that. <laughs> it's weird. And he said, it's because I struggled so much in that lifetime with politics. And it also shows about how things can affect us from past lives and it's always silly little simple things that can cause mental blocks emotional blocks triggers that we don't even understand from this lifetime so this morning obviously energy is building and he said tell them the americans they're losing themselves with the political system it's causing a divide which we know about and he says the right but that the right wing and the left wing Belongs to the same bird, but bird, 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 but bird, bird. Usually, when I make a slip up like that, it's because I apparently I did it in the Anne Boleyn video. I called her Anne Anna Boleyn or some Anna Boleyn or something, and apparently that's what she would have been called. I didn't know that anyway. So when I make a slip up with names and stuff, usually that's because I'm saying something that they would have said. So. The right, the left wing and the right wing is from the same bird. So I said, oh yeah, I've heard that before. So that's nothing new to me. That's nothing that's just divine energy that's just come through. I've, I've heard that before. So I'm getting ready for this morning session, not this session, a client session. And I get an urge to go into my bedroom, our bedroom, which is at the back of the bungalow, looks out of the garden. Walked into the garden and there's a blackbird eating an apple. I went, oh, that's sweet. And then he says, there's a message in that. Just keep looking at it. I'm looking at it. Blackbird, eat an apple. Blackbird, eat an apple. Blackbird, eat an apple. And I got Adam and Eve and the poisonous apple, right? We've got an apple tree, but it's a baby apple tree and it only gives off little apples at the minute. You can eat them. And last year, after after the, after the harvest, I cleared it. I cleared it all. All the apples we could eat, I took and I made into um, what they called crumbles right and the rest we ate anything on the ground we picked up now technically that was september october time we're now in january so they should be rotten this apple was like a pure fresh big juicy apple in the middle of my garden right it was bizarre and i was like wow and he says the bird the american bird with the left and the right wing the political system has taken a bite off of a poisonous apple. You catch my drift, yeah? It's affected both wings. So this feeling of they're the goodies, they're the baddies, and vice versa is actually fake news, to use somebody's analogy. The poisonous from the apple that the political system has bitten into has affected the whole bird. But he says this bird keeps getting rejuvenated in different ways. It's almost like, you know, we give mouth to mouth to it and it dies and it gets fired back up again in a different way it's quite a trickster bird he's saying he's showing me it's quite a trickster bird and he's just he's laughing something about the nine lives of a bird it just keeps bouncing back and bouncing back but what this bird doesn't and this isn't about aid the present political system this is about all political systems at the minute all sides in america the, the political systems but what this poisonous bird doesn't realize is there's a new bird being birthed and obviously it's a new eagle but this eagle is of the likes we've never ever experienced before and the two wings that belong to this poisonous bird the left the right the blue the red are both as poisonous 
as the bird and he's, they're going to go. They're going to go because when this new bird comes in, he's saying the wings are fresh and blank and it's a blank canvas. Now, I don't know where they are politically in America right now. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if this obviously feels like it's something in future. But both political parties are going. He's showing me younger people coming into these new parties. The, the, the younger people are actually riding in on this ego. When I said that, I went incredibly dizzy. And it feels like the energies in the US underground he's showing me are becoming quite fragmented and it's causing dizziness. So I don't know if some of you are experiencing this dizziness because he's saying if this was happening in any country, it would cause dizziness in any country because the political system, the royalty system, whatever systems in your country, people put their oath there, okay? And it's the, the leaders, whatever the, whatever system it is in whatever country. So when that starts to rock, it vibrates across the country and in some cases the world, and we start to feel it. He's saying, let go of both wings. Both wings are actually here to show us and America how poisonous the system has become, how manipulative the system has become. Okay? That's the first message. The second message was... What was it? The second message. Can you remember? I thought whether it was on here or on Instagram when I did a video or a post and I said I'd had a dream with JFK and I was in the White House with JFK now. He was a spirit and... They were doing, they, as in JFK and other spirits that were there, other beings of light, were doing some clearing work under the White House, in the ley lines and, and the stuff, yeah. <laughs> they were clearing out the darkness, basically, and they were firing up new energy and new ley lines under the White House. Abraham Lincoln has brought this message in again. And he said there's, there's activations that are already in place under the White House that have been put there via himself, via, via, all, via all past presidents that are in spirit and beams of light, galactics of light, angels of light. It's weird because I've, I'm using all my new angel of angel decks, unicorn decks, anything of light, and there's all these new ley lines and portals and energies that are there waiting that will fire up when the right person goes in and at the minute the right person hasn't gone in because the right person it's almost like they walk through the door of the white house on inauguration day and i'm seeing it as balloons and 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 fireworks and confetti and boom and what's that thing called where they pull that and it's like a party popper that's it <laughs> Um, and they get fired up when the right person comes in. And you'll know when it's the right person because literally it's like whoosh, the calming of the waters. It's the They bring a calmness that has never been seen before in America. And it actually has a ripple effect across the world. So it's like, I'm hearing America will fall first, the political system, and then something new comes in that's lighter have faith that it's going to be lighter because it feels lighter and i've seen it coming in he said there will be a period when it gets a bit dark when it falls okay but we know what that is and we understand it but we know it's not going to be there forever because don't forget it takes time for a bird to fly in he's saying something about eagles anyone know about eagles let me know in the comments um about they'll only it takes something about when they look down some birds will swoop straight in, but it feels like an eagle will look, make sure there's nobody else there. So an eagle has to, it's something about eagles and timing, eagles and timing coming in. Interesting. So, and he said to me, make a tea whilst you're doing this, a fruit tea. I was going to share this fruit tea with you just before Christmas, but I forgot. We've just got this from, is it Lidl? Lidl, it's a UK shop, I think, European shop. Super fruits tea. Lovely, lovely tea. Really lovely tea. If you like your super fruits. And I don't know why he's had me do a super fruit tea. I don't understand. Because actually I very rarely, if ever, have a cup of tea on camera. Even in my client sessions. So I don't know why. 
but I think it's something to do with self-care and looking after ourselves going through these times and going back to basics, going back to nature, going back to more holistic ways. Because at the minute he's saying we're spending more time in our head. And yes, there's a reason why I'm drinking out of my John Lennon cup. You see how, look at that Statue of Liberty. He chose this cup this morning. I've got various different cups. Cups on Howarth, cups. Because when we go away, I told you we buy cups. But we've also got this one. And I didn't realise the Statue of Liberty thinking when I just, he just said, I went for a different cup. He says, not that cup, your John Lennon cup. So, yes, that's my John Lennon cup. There you go. Um, this was quite expensive, actually. <laughs> I do pay a lot for cups if it's a cup I want and it's in a place I want. Anyway, let's have a slurp. There's a John Lennon connection with him. And I'm not sure what it is. Because, actually, when I was watching Link and I kept getting flashbacks to John Lennon's death, I'm John Lennon shooting, so I'm not sure if I'm picking up on the similarity of the endings. Could I be? Oh, I am. Oh, I know what it is. Watch what you say. <laughs> Watch what you say. I know what it is. I know what it is. Do you know what it is? We know what it is, don't we? Um, again, I don't know the history of John Wilkes Booth, but I'm reckoning it's very similar to whoever killed Lennon. Yeah. I know, I understand now what you're saying. Thanks for that. For any of you that have got... Oh, I love how the work spirit. That's what, oh, it's a bird. I thought it was a rat on somebody's... Um, a rat. Look up the meaning of rat. I'll do this myself afterwards, but look up the meaning of rat. I thought there was a rat on the on the, on the shed in front of me, on ne next door neighbour, but one. It's not, it's a bird. A rat. There's something about that, a rat. So... Yes, I think we know now that his ending probably wasn't what we thought it was, that there was it was a similar ending to John Lennon. There was a narrative placed, but there was so much more going on behind the scenes. Right, let's move on from that getting it to your nails. Oh. Right, let's have another slurp of tea. Yeah, I'm a bit sinusy at the minute because, oh, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I am a bit sinusy at the minute because I had a huge upgrade yesterday and it blew my brains. So I've gone a bit, my eyes have gone a bit again. So if you see me sniffling a bit, I'm not doing a hurry. I'm just, I've not got cold. I'm just, it is what it is. So the decks is chosen. Why did I put my unicorn deck upside down? What is the symbolism of unicorn in the States? Please let me know in the comments because every deck is the up, upright way around. All the boxes are lined up on my desk. But when I put that down, because they're not going into their magic, they're not, unicorns are magic, unicorns are free, unicorns are majestic. We're stepping out of our majestic power. We're not going into our majestic power, our real majestic power. He's got the Tarot of Dreams by Kara Marchetti, the Archangel by, the Archangel Oracle by Diana Cooper, the Magical, the Magic of Unicorns by, Anna, by Diana Cooper, and the Oracle of the Unicorns by, by... Cordelia Francesca Brabs. Tarot. Where is America now? Where is America now? I still think there's a more connection with him and Lennon. We came in on the same frequency as saying. We say they're not they're not reincarnations of. They came in from the same soul tribe. He says, as did JFK, in very different meat suits, with very different perspectives. He's saying politically they all wouldn't have got on from their political stance. If that meant, I don't know what they all supported. Um, was JFK, you see what I mean? <laughs> was JFK Democrat or Republican? This is what I'm, what I'm feeling is, if these three men had got into a room together, from a political perspective, they wouldn't have got on. But from a soul tribe perspective, they were all from the same soul tribe. And he says, that's the thing. Wheel of Fortune, you put on a meat suit and it's actually got nothing to do with who you are as a soul. And what we do is we judge people, he's saying, on the meat suit that we the, the physical body that we put on. Wheel of Fortune, three fated events in America, starting with Lincoln, JFK, and John Lennon. Um, Five of Swords. These three events were meant to be part of the awakening. They are part of the awakening. 
I just feel there's another one coming. I don't know what this is that I'm seeing. There's another one coming. Can I have a card for that? Can I have a card for it? Or is it something that I shouldn't look at? What is this event that's coming? The sun. The page of wands. Judgment. Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. I'm getting. Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. Page of Wands, cunning, there's somebody cunning, really cunning. He's saying to me, there's other readers out there that say the Page of Wands is somebody in the political spectrum. I don't know, I don't put my hands up, I don't know who this is. But he's saying some of you are going, we know who that is, the Page of Wands. I do not know who that is. But whoever it is, he's very cunning. Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. The Judgment Card, the Judgment Card. He's saying this is the last hurrah. That might be an English word, last hurrah. <laughs> this might be the last, this is the last hurrah before the good stuff starts coming in, before the sun energy comes in. Is this tied into this event that there's coming? There's a fourth one, he's saying. There's a fourth one. So I'm seeing four souls that agreed to come down into America at some point. I mean, like, Lennon wasn't American, he was UK, so it might not even be an American person. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? Because there's a reason why I said, and I've gone really dizzy, don't let's start this again. There's a reason why I said he might not be an American person, because I don't think he is. Oh my God, let's have a look at this. Sorry, I'm doing that, I'm not black. <laughs> it's just my light, I've got, I've got lights, different lights in this office, and I've got my dull light on, it's doing my head in. He's red. Red haired. This is Harry. This is how. Ooh. Page of Cups thinks he's victorious, but he's very naive. Oh, I'm going to ground on this one. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Show me who this is. Please, can you show me who it is? He says, you're on the ball. You're on the ball. Justice. The chariot. I just looked at that and I got hit. I wish I could put my big light on. Anybody who lives in Yorkshire knows about the big... That's my, that's my letterbox, by the way. The penny dropping, there's something in that. That was my letterbox. What does that mean? What does that mean? There's something in that. The penny drops. The penny the, pe the penny drops. The pe it's like catchphrases. Say what you see. <laughs> it's a good job I've got a sense of humor, isn't it? The penny drops. Say what you see. The penny drops. The penny drops. What I got before I got the penny dropping is a justice card, but I got something along the lines of a British soldier. A Brit he gave me a, like a poem or something or, 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 or some words. A British soldier on American soil with big dreams, with little ambition, with a dangerous perspective. So that's all he's saying about that. Okay, can we move on from that? I don't want to go into those energies. Sorry, I just don't want to do it again. I actually thought it was Trump at first, I, but it just didn't feel like Trump. It didn't feel like Trump, and especially when that ones came out. I mean, I may be wrong. Um, my eyes just gone. We had this discussion in the comments, didn't we, about my eyes? So anytime I get emotional to read, I get a little leaky eye. It used to be both eyes. Um, it used to be both eyes. It's just the one now. It used to be all the time, but it's just now and again. Let's clear that away. Let's clear that away. Yeah, I'll clear that away because I don't like that energy anyway. It's an awful energy at the minute. <sighs> the world. See how I stopped the world. We need, we're going through cycles and we need to get away from this. But first of all, one of the things he said this morning was we have to have the night to appreciate the morning. 
I've got loads of different tarot cloths, altar cloths. I've got all different things. Some with Gaston Ritar on. I've got the moon one and I've got these different. Yes, I know why now. I've got one that looks very much like this. And I've got a sun one and I was going to put the sun one out because I thought I wanted to bring sun into America. He says, no, we must sit in the dark first because in order to get to the sun, we have to first go into the dark. It's a cycle of life. America is going through a cycle at the minute as all countries are going through. Three of coins, but they'll work their way through it. They will work their way through it and they'll get the happy ever after that they need. The Palace of Swords. The Palace of Swords needs to fall. We know what the Palace of Swords is. And this isn't about a present political party. This is about something. Um, the, the powers that were, yeah? What's just fallen out? The Page of Cups has come out. Somebody young. Page of Cups. Ah. I know it's not got anything to do with it. I know it's not the symbolism, but I got the triangle on here is upside down, but then they're waiting for something else to come in. Yes. Ace of Swords. Ooh, I'm liking this deck for this reading. So where is America now? Can you show me where America is now? You say they're learning from the past. They're revisiting past aspects of themselves. And he's showing with the civil war energy that obviously he was president through. He says some are learning from that, but some aren't learning from that and are wanting to go into war, into civil war. He said it's unwise. He's like that. It's, it's very unwise, very unwise energy. He's saying if you choose civil war, you will delay this new eagle coming in by 10 to 20 years. He showed me 10 to 20. If you go into civil war, he said there is a timeline for that. If you choose not to go into civil war, and he said it's not also about the the, the 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 governing body in America, it's also about the people and the frequency that they're putting out. Because if the frequency of the people is predominantly peace, it brings peace in. If the frequency of the people is predominantly anger, hatred, vengefulness, fear, it brings that in. So it's about being using your magician skills to the best perspective, to the best power of you. <sighs> so where's America now? I've just gone into a real slump then. I just went into a real slump, the fool. They're on the cusp of a new beginning, but they can't see for looking. They're on the cusp of a new beginning, but they can't see for looking. They're looking in the wrong direction. There's something better waiting to come in. There's something better waiting to come in. There's a choice point. There is a choice point, a big choice point. A decision will be made either via the heart. There's an opportunity. There's a choice point is the decision is made via the heart or the ego. Ace of Swords. He's saying the energy in America is absolutely, yeah. I'm not reading America thinking, whoa. I'm actually reading saying, it's an amazing country and there's an amazing energy in there. If you want to tap into it, if you want to tap into it, there's something about the press as well. And they're putting out an, a, a false narrative. They're putting out a false narrative, which we know they do. Show me America for the future. for the future boundaries queen of coins is a female energy we've never had a female president have we a female 
there's a female. There's a female waiting to come in. A queen of coins. And she's got a high priestess with her. She's got a high priestess. There's going to be a period in America that he's showing me where something's dismantled, which we've spoken about. And then there's like um, an energy of boundaries and having to protect what they've got. This isn't to be feared, but it's going to bring about an inner strength and an inner, and an inner resilience, an inner strength and an inner resilience. But there's still this energy of being in victimhood and being this is happening to us, not for us. Taking the swords out of the back, healing, rising back up again. Rising back up in your heart-centeredness. King of Wands. Somebody that wants to come in that is full of fire energy. Okay. And give me a clarifier for him. Give me a clarifier for him. Put these cards back in. What's this King of Wands energy? Ooh, something just dropped out. <sighs> I'll tell you what I saw. Say what you see. Let's play catchphrase again. Right? Say what you see. This... <laughs> This is something, I want to say this is old news, this King of Wands, is old news. On the surface, for some, it looks like the answer to your prayers. But this man has betrayed women, let women down, abused his power with women. Oh, no, what could, oh, God, what is going on? No, keep, keep, keep saying, keep on your line, keep on your line, don't, don't be. Five of Swords. This needs to calm down. This present situation in the in, in, in the US needs to calm down. This is about finding something gentler. Finding a faith. Moving away from difficulties. Moving away from toxicity. Moving away from nightmares and worst case scenario. To make way for a new beginning, the fool. And a new dawn that wants to come in. With a warrior queen... That brings in a new perspective and a new cycle and inner strength. And then America will find peace and contentment again. When he said something about a past president, that I may have to change his name slightly. His name is... I'm trying to... <laughs> If you get close down, we're saying his name. Um, what's his name? Don't put it in the comments. I'm going to find a new name for it. His first name's William. His second name begins with a C. Linton. William Linton. Yes. Why is he mentioning him? Why are you mentioning William Linton? Hi, Priestess. This darkness, this dark energy, this dark frequency is getting dismantled. Really, it may not seem like it from some perspectives, but it really is getting dismantled. The very people that try to suppress women, it's almost like he's saying this person had to come into power. All of the players on the political stage have to come into power, he's saying. The good, the bad, the ugly. Because they have to plant something that grows in the next generation. Does this make sense? It's not making sense to me. Planting seeds in the in, in a generation and the trees grow in the next generation. And it's by looking at these trees that have been planted that are not very nice trees. And people look at these are physical trees and people look at these trees going, we don't like what you've planted. So next time we plant something new, let's, next time we come to garden or plant some more seeds, we're going to make sure we have purer soil. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Let's have a slurp. He's saying, a lot of people out there say that Trump is a light worker. Oh, she's going to trigger people. 
He said, we're all light workers. Everyone, even your darkest players on the world stage right now are actually light workers. Everyone is of the stars. Everyone is of light. We put on suits and we play roles in order to raise certain things up. There isn't going to be this one person that's going to come and save you. You're going to be led to save yourself. And this isn't save yourself as in, oh, there's going to be danger. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Please do not, do not take it like that. There's not danger coming. But this is about rising up. Rising up. This isn't whether you're male or whether you're female. Doesn't matter. High priestess, high priest. He's saying I've got to say that as well. It's about rising up. It's about the divine in you sees the divine in me. Nobody's going to save you apart from yourself. And when we can settle those frequencies, they will change. The narrative will change. He's showing me all the presidents we've ever had. They're all sat in this room as soul essence. And they're all the same. There's the different frequencies, different colour souls, different different heritages. But they're all these, these how many of us are, what, what president are we on now? I don't know, 45 are we? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so there's these souls that are sat around the table and they're all discussing the roles they're going to play in order to wake up humanity. It says every, it said people may get, may get triggered by this, but that's good, triggering is good. But they're all playing their souls. They're all playing their soul, they're all playing their roles to help wake up humanity. Each one has a vital role to play. Even the ones that are just like, <clears throat> we don't want to mention, they have a vital role to mention because we need both the light and the dark to be able to see it and to, to be able to awaken our spirit. Interesting. So, show me an archangel that's looking over America right now. Show me an archangel. What time are we on waffling on? <laughs> show me an archangel. It's over America right now. Archangel Metatron. Yay. I'm not just yaying because it's Metatron, but yay. He's the one you want looking at America. Archangel, but you are Be independent. Expand your horizons. What have I just been saying? Be independent. Be independent. Be independent. That person on the world stage isn't going to save you. Whoever whoever he is, whether he's left or right wing, you are going to save you. Archangel Metatron, increase your light levels. Increase your light levels. Open your stellar gateway chakra. So if you're in America, this is about really opening your light centre. And he's saying that many people actually want to close their light centre off now because they're feeling the, the darkness there and the heaviness. He said, actually, this is the time when you, what do you do when you've got a dark room? You put the light on, you put the light on in the dark room. So he's saying now is the time to put your light on, to shine pure, bright. Call an Archangel Metatron to help you with this. Visualise this card, visualise these colours. You can visualise these colours coming down through the stellar gateway. Now is the time you fire up your light centre. Now is the time you fire up your light centre interesting card right i'm gonna do a part i think we'll just have two parts today do you reckon i don't know let's see how it goes thanks for watching see you in the next one bye